Hi, I'm Brian from OnlyGrainMills.com. You know, with the wide varieties, qualities, and styles of grain mills that are on the market today, it can be incredibly difficult to choose exactly which is the best grain mill for your needs. Well, we hope we can help. Today we're going to do a quick overview of the styles and capabilities of the different brands of grain mills. We'll start with the Victoria. They have both a basic and a deluxe version of their hand-cranked grain mills. Both of them retail for under $100, and you know, they make a good quality bread flour. Next on our list is the Wonder Mill brand, Wonder Junior. With its substantial construction, its large grinding handle, and the versatility of interchangeable stone or stainless steel grinding burrs, this grain mill will allow you to grind a wide variety of different ingredients, from the typical dry grains and even the oily grains. Now there's perhaps no better known manual grain mill in the world than the country living grain mill. It has a lifetime warranty and it's easy to see why. These mills were made to last for generations. Now all of these manual mills have the capability of being motorized. The Victorio has an optional motor that simply clips in place of its charging handle. The Wonder Junior has an optional accessory that allows you to attach your own cordless drill. The Wonder Junior and the Country Living Grain Mill also give you the capability of externally motorizing them via a belt and their pulley. You can even attach them to an exercise bike. It makes all of these grain mills extremely versatile. And speaking of versatile, we have the family grain mill system. As you can see, we have the grain grinding attachment on a hand base that looks and functions much like the rest of the other hand cranked grain mills. However, with the push of a button, you can take the grinding attachment right off the top and place it onto their motorized base. In a matter of seconds, you now have the versatility and ease of use of an electric grain mill. It really is the best of both worlds. Now there is no better known electric grain mill than the Wonder Mill. With its unique design and its oversized motor, it's known for its dependability. Now rounding out the rest of our electric grain mills, we have the German engineered Como brand. They are known for their quality grain mills, their beechwood cases, and their solid wood or stainless steel hoppers. You simply put the grain into the self-cleaning hopper and choose your fineness by twisting the hopper to the desired setting. The flour then comes out the spout into your bowl and you're ready to bake. Now there is one thing that all of these grain mills have in common. They have been tested by the experts at OnlyGrainMills.com. We make sure each and every one meet our minimum quality standards and make sure that they're backed by a quality manufacturer. Now we've just scratched the surface on what it takes to choose the right grain mill for you. Go to our website. We have additional videos where we pit manual grain mill against manual grain mill. And we do comparisons of electric grain mills versus electric grain mills. We're going to give you detailed analysis to let you choose which exactly is the right grain mill for you. Thank you for watching.
Hello again, welcome to Preparing Wisely, your partner in food storage and preparedness. The Deluxe Grain Mill by Victorio is a fairly nice grain mill. This mill is a big step above the older generation of Victorio Grain Mill, which is this smaller version. This one has a better capacity and it gets the flour much finer than its predecessor. It comes with a small clamp. I'm going to go ahead and seat it right now. This fits onto tabletops and countertops quite easily. And you can get it tight with the little handle on the bottom. Uh, the other improvement is with the smaller version, you used to have to put like a plate or small bowl under it because it had uh, very little reach off the table. This one you can set a bowl under there quite nicely and be able to grind a lot easier. Now we're going to show you a little bit of the functions on this unit. Um, it's got the large uh, hopper, which is an improvement over the prior version. And then it's, the adjustment selector is quite a bit different. Uh, the arrows go coarse or fine, um, just depending on what you'd like to do, whether you want to crack cereal with it or get a fine flour. I'm going to go ahead and tighten it up to fine. And then um, this one is even easier to use than the, um, the prior version. Um, it's not quite as uh, fast as like a Wonder Mill Junior or a Country Living Grain Mill, which are two of the high-end grain mills. But this one is nice because it is very easy to turn. Uh, even young children or um, folks who have a hard time putting a lot of pressure on these will be able to turn them. Um, so you just simply turn the, the grain mill once you've gotten the desired grade. And, uh, and away you go. It's quite easy. It's just not as fast as uh, some of the larger grain mills. Um, we're going to do a zoom in on the texture of this. Um, the flour is really quite fine. Um, in fact, I think I'm getting a finer grade of flour than I do with even the Wonder Mill Junior or the Country Living Grain Mill. Um, the burrs seat really nice on this unit and provide a really fine grade of flour. Um, Victorio has in the works a uh, motorization kit and a motor, so they'll be coming out with that uh, fairly soon, and so you will be able to motorize this if you like. However, in the event of uh, the grid being down or, or, or you living off grid, this would be a great unit um, to work with. I hope you benefited from this uh, video review of the, Victor the Deluxe Grain Mill by Victorio. Thank you. Now that you have your Country Living Grain Mill securely mounted, let's go over the operation of the mill. This is the adjustment knob. The threaded shaft protrudes from the center of the knob. This is normal and does not indicate a missing part. Note the fine and coarse indicators on the knob, including directional arrows. As you tighten the knob clockwise, the flour becomes finer. As you loosen it, counterclockwise, it becomes coarser. The Country Living Mill will produce any desired consistency, from cake flour to cracked grain. 
If you're grinding for the first time, then the adjustment knob should still be at its factory setting, which will give you a nice bread flour. At this setting, when you turn the flywheel without any grain in the hopper, it will sound like this. When you fill the hopper with dry grain of your choice, grind a little bit into your hand to check the texture of the flour. If it's not what you want, then adjust the knob and check the flour again. When you achieve the texture you're looking for, put your flour bin in place and grind away. To gain access to the interior of the mill, follow this procedure. Put something under the mouth of the mill to catch any grain that may fall from the hopper. Loosen the adjustment knob by turning it counterclockwise. It may be easiest to hold the knob with one hand while turning the flywheel with the other. With the knob out of the way, remove any washers. Then, pull the rotating plate off the shaft. You'll notice that the interior edge of each grinding plate has a flat, shiny area. This is how they look when brand new. It does not indicate worn or used grinding plates. Since we test each mill we sell, even a brand new mill will have a little grain in the hopper and flour in the grooves of the grinding plates. Note that the stationary plate is mounted to the mill with three Allen bolts. There is no reason to remove these unless you're replacing the grinding plates. As of October 2012, all country living grain mills feature a stainless steel throat. It's a beautiful complement to the existing food grade FDA approved powder coating that covers the rest of the mill body. Here you can see the small key which mates the drive shaft to the rotating plate. And here is the spring auger which feeds the grain toward the high carbon steel grinding plates. When reassembling the mill, be sure to tighten the adjustment knob until you hear the plates rubbing together like this. This will ensure that grain doesn't fall through the mill when you fill the hopper. We hope this has been a helpful primer for operating your country living grain mill. Good grinding and good health.